Warning. This video contains language and subjective views not suitable for all viewers. Please exit the video if you cannot tolerate a viewpoint different from your own. Thank you and enjoy. I have, we have great confidence in our son. He is the smartest man I know. I mean, in terms of pure intellectual capacity. Yeah, I, uh, you know, I spent more time on my hands and knees, picking through rugs, um, smoking anything that re even remotely resembled crack cocaine. I probably smoked more Parmesan cheese than anyone, <laughs> anyone that you know, I'm sure, Tracy. <laughs> The other hand goes here. I got it for the Lolo. I'm in love with the Coco. I'm in love with the Coco. I'm in love with the Coco. I got it for the Lolo. Turn up. I'm in love with the Coco. Hit my plug, that's my cholo. Cause he got it for the Lolo. If you snitching, I go loco. Hit you with that 38. Niggas thinking that I'm solo. If you have a piece of crack cocaine no bigger than this quarter that I'm holding in my hand one quarter of one dollar we passed a law through the leadership of Senator Thurman and myself and others a law that says if you're caught with that you go to jail for five years you get no probation you get nothing other than five years in jail judge doesn't have a choice under our forfeiture statutes you can the government can Take everything you own, everything from your car to your house, your bank account, not merely what they confiscate in terms of the dollars from the transaction that you just got caught engaging in. They can take everything. I don't care why they become a sociopath. We have an obligation to cordon them off from the rest of society. They are in jail, away from my mother, your husband, our families. So I don't want to ask what made them do this. They must be taken off the street. My son was in Iraq. He spent a year there. He got the, he got the Bronze Star. He got the Conspicuous Service Medal. He was not a loser. He was a patriot. And the people left behind oh, there really? were heroes. Really? And I resent Are you talking about Hunter? Hell. Are you talking about I'm Hunter? talking about my son, Bo Biden. You're talking about I don't about know. Beto. I don't know, Bo. I know Hunter. Yeah, Hunter, you know got Bo. Thrown, Hunter got thrown out of the military. He was thrown out, dishonorably discharged. That's not true. For he wasn't dishonorably cocaine use. Headline involving Vice President Biden and his youngest son discharged from the U.S. Navy after failing a drug test, testing positive for cocaine. And he didn't have a job until you became vice president. Once you None became of that vice president, true. he made a fortune in Ukraine, in China, in Moscow, that is simply and various not other places. True. He my made son, a fortune. Gentlemen, my son. And he didn't have a job. My son. Mr. Vice President, how many times have you ever spoken to your son about his overseas business dealings? I've never spoken to my son about his overseas business dealings. I have never discussed with my son or my brother or anyone else anything having to do with their businesses, period. And what I will do is the same thing we did in our administration. There will be an absolute wall between personal and private uh, and, and, and the government. Do you stand by your statement that you did not discuss any of your son's overseas business? Yes, I stand by that statement. I did not know he was on the board of that company. I've never discussed my business or their business, my sons or daughters. I never discussed a single thing with my son about anything having to do with Ukraine. <laughs> I've never spoken to my son about the other things. You know, it came out today. Okay, the Biden family. The Biden family could be the sixth Cosa Nostra family at this point. It came out today that they got, the Biden family received over $10 million, okay, from China and Romania, two of the most corrupt countries on the planet. And Biden has been saying all along, he doesn't know anything about Hunter Biden's business. Hunter Biden is a junkie a crack mm -hmm. addict, yes. a, a misfit in many ways. I'm not saying anything out of school by his own admission. Yeah, no, I've seen all the, okay. all the videos and everything. Yeah. Hunter Biden, the son of President Joe Biden, who was a former crack addict. Let's just call it what it is. Yes, he was on crack. 
I said it that way about Lamar Odom. I can say it that way about the son of the president of the United States. He was on crack. They recently found cocaine in the White House, by the way. There no evidence that it was his. Although in all the years I've been alive, I've not heard of cocaine being in the White House. This is the first time. It does include actions I've long called for that are going to save lives. It funds crisis intervention, including red flag laws. It keeps guns out of the hands of people who are a danger to themselves and to others. How many times have you heard, I bet everybody knows somebody somewhere along the line, that in an intimate relationship, what happened was the guy takes a revealing picture of his naked friend or whatever in a compromising position, and then literally in a sense blackmails him or mortifies that person. Send it out, put it online. Like a lot of people, like a lot of people we know at home, had a drug problem. He's overtaken it. He's, he's, he's fixed it. He's worked on it. And I'm proud of him. But why I'm was he given tens of millions of dollars? All right, but he wasn't given right, tens of millions of dollars. That is totally... Of that's that's and yet this guy was able to get $10 million out of people based upon what? Just so happens that his father was vice president at the same time? You don't believe that he was uh, influence peddling at that point, you have to be, you have to believe in Santa Claus not but, to but believe is that, that. Is that Biden's son or is that Biden himself? Oh, Biden himself, without a doubt. Okay. Why, why? Oh, maybe, hey, listen, if, if that is true, then they should be investigated and go through the whole process. And if they're found guilty, then people should go to jail. Exactly. And I, I, and, I agree. And, and you know, I like with, Biden, but I don't think he's above the law on any, on any level. It's the same with Trump. Yeah. He wasn't given right. tens, tens of millions of dollars. That is totally, that's totally, you've already, this, you've already been totally you've already discredited. This is crack, rock cocaine. It isn't glamorous or cool or kid stuff. It's the most addictive kind of cocaine and it can kill you. What's really bad is nobody knows how much it takes. So every time you use it, you risk dying. It isn't worth it. Look. Everybody wants to be cool, but doing it with crack isn't just wrong. It could be dead wrong. You know, I spent more time on my hands and knees, picking through rugs, um, smoking anything that re even remotely resembled crack cocaine. I, probably smoke more Parmesan cheese than anyone <laughs> anyone that you know I'm sure Tracy <laughs>